Hello, welcome to Figure Form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. This is my review of the Batman Hush, the black and gray version by McFarlane DC Multiverse. Now, if you are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my video. This will really help me a lot in making more of these videos. Now please enjoy. Overall, nothing really so exciting about this release because this is basically the Hush Batman that was released before in blue and gray. Well, I guess McPerlin really know how popular the Hush version is, so that's why. After re releasing the blue version, he released this black version. How about you guys? Which version of Batman do you really like? Is it the blue one or the black one? Me personally, I like the black and gray version because, well, it's called the Dark Knight. That's why for me, black and gray, actually if not fully, if not fully black, that's how I want to see my Batman. And that's why I call him the Dark Knight. Now, if we will have a look at the box, this is the art that is behind it. That's a pretty good artwork of Batman. Then on the side, then on the other side, it says Batman, Batman Hush, the bottom, the front, Now, he comes with the standard McPerlin art card with the biography at the back. If you want to read it, you can post it now. Just like the blue version, this Batman have alternate closed fists. And then he has two batarangs. I like that these batarangs are really well painted in silver. Now for the main figure. Well, as I said, this is basically uh, a reissue of the blue and gray Hush Batman that was released before. And if you can see, I got him on the standard McPerlin stand, which is usually included in every figure that McPerlin released. Because, well, I had the same issue with this figure as the blue one, wherein those ankle joints are really weak. I'm having a hard time making this figure stand without that base because, as I said, McParlane need to improve on their design on those ankles because the blue Batman that I had, this one, I had this displayed for a long time and yeah, these are a little loose. So whenever I, di I display in through time, we keep stumbling down like that. And the fact that he's back heavy because of this thick cape doesn't really help the problem. So McParlane need to work on those ankles. Now looking at the figure, I don't think it's, there's any difference that was made here. Maybe we will look at them side by side. Yeah. Same head sculpt, same logo, same cape design, same belt, same trunks, same legs with the same weak 
ankle joint. They both have the kryptonite ring. So yeah, as I said, nothing really very exciting about this release. It's basically this figure in black and gray. So McFarlane used a, li a lighter version of gray on this figure and a much lighter yellow which I guess is a good choice in order to contrast the black color because on the blue one they made the yellow belt a little darker and then the gray one the gray portion is also a little darker which is why I like this lighter version more now for the articulation as I said nothing changed the articulation is on the or the head is on the neck so you can look down you can look you cannot look up you can look side by side you can do that for the hand you can do the t-pose um, ma I want to say that he has a butterfly joint, but nah, it's not working. I think it's too tight. There's really no cut there to make, to give him a really good working butterfly joint. Same as the old release, the logo is molded which is always good and very well painted have articulation then waist rotation you cannot look down there same old problem with McFarlane figures you can look back like that you can look side by side, tie swivel, you can kick that far, and you can kick behind that far. And as I said, this, this ankle joint, which which as I said, McFarlane needs to work on because it's just so hard to make him stand with this design of the joint. Uh, I'm thinking about making them a little tighter, but I wish McFarlane go back to, the, to their drawing board and think of a better way to do this ankle joint because as I said, it does not work. It keeps going back like that especially since McFarlane like, likes to give us this really heavy cape no complaint there I love how McFarlane designed this cape but they are it, it really makes the figure very back heavy overall as I said it's just a recolor of the Batman hush that was released before in blue and gray so unless if you like this version this black and gray I think it, it's a pass but if you're like me who's crazy about every Batman that McFarlane releases then it is definitely a good addition to your collection And I know that most of us collectors, this is their definitive Batman. But to be honest for me, um, of all the Batman that McFarlane released, 
the one that I really like is the Rebirth Batman. I don't know, there's just something about that design and maybe because of the fact that I've read their, his comics and I like that I like that design, that's why it is my definitive Batman. I know it's it's very it's not very classical when it comes to its look, but well, I don't know. That is my number one Batman. Please put in the comment what version of Batman is your favorite. And thank you for watching.